Time for another instructional video, this time on Madsonic. This is how you can set up playlists that I can play on your show. Um, and the first thing we have to do is actually establish a playlist. So you're going to want to, I'm going to get rid of that. You're going to want to make sure your play queue is empty, first thing. So you're going to pull your cursor down towards the play button. And that opens up the play queue. And you can dump the whole queue by hitting the trash can right there. So now, play queue empty. I'm going to find a single tune that I do want to play. Tiny Grimes might work for me. And I'm going to play it. So Hot in Harlem sounds about right to me. And it starts playing. And now the play queue has one tune in it. So I'm going to save this as a playlist. And initially, it saves it with kind of a generic name named after the song. So I'm going to change that. You do that by hitting the Edit button right there. It says Edit. And that gives you the chance to rename the playlist. So what I'm going to name the playlist is Friday Midday Jazz March 20 gives me a very good idea. So you're communicating these things to me. I need to know what show this playlist is associated with, where I should put it. Um, so that way, the title of the playlist makes it quite obvious to me. It's almost foolproof, and you are dealing with a fool. So just be aware. So here we go. Friday Midday Jazz, March 20th. I'm going to save that. And now, if I go to this playlists section here, You'll see, there it is, Friday Midday Jazz. It's one song. And now if I want to find something else, let's say if I want to put a Roy Eldridge tune in here. I want to search for Roy Eldridge. I'm going to go to uh, his artist page, which is up here. I'm going to go to the complete Verve Roy Eldridge. I'm going to pick a couple tunes to add to that playlist, but I don't have to play them now. Now that the playlist is established, I can just talk off ones that I want, start with some barbecue, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll do Roy's Riff. And then pull down this top menu, there's more actions up here on the album display, and ask it to add to a playlist. It'll give you a list. Um, and this is mine, Friday, March, the one where I wrote out March 20th. That's the playlist I want to add to. Kaboom. Those three tunes are now inside the playlist Friday, March 20th. And then I can do some more searching. So say now I wanted to, I don't know, I'm interested in snakes. Um, probably not hot snakes. That's not really appropriate for a, uh, a jazz show. But uh, maybe I can find, oh, Bale of Flex, Snakes Alive. So I'll hop over to this album. Snakes Alive is in here somewhere. There it is. More actions. Once I talk the little box, more actions. Add to a playlist. Find my playlist. Friday Midday Jazz with March 20th written out. And now Vale Flex in there. So if I decide that, like, well, I'm not sure I want uh, Vale Fleck to be played in this spot, I believe we can just move things around. And uh, maybe I want to start off instead of Tiny Grimes, we'll start off with Roy Eldridge, then play some Tiny Grimes after. Oh, he's not moving down. Let's move him down. Here we go. So, whoops. Okay. Right in between. There we go. Roy Eldridge, Tiny Grimes, Bale Fleck, a couple more Roy Eldridge pieces. And you build a playlist this way. Um, the way that I'm going to do it, it's going to be a little bit hard to um, get the times right here. So just assume that you're going to be long, like make it a little bit long, and do your last talk break well before the end of the show uh, is how we're going to set it up. It's going to be more of these. The maximum length here is five minutes. So that's all I can teach you for right now. So um, on to the next video.